Imagine 77 here, and welcome to Pokemon Soul Silver. Um, gonna go ahead and say this now. Uh, if I'm going through the text a little bit fast, or I sound kind of eh, this is because this is the third time I've recorded this. My phone just doesn't want to work for me. So I apologize in advance if I don't sound very thrilled about it. I do enjoy this since I haven't played through this, like, this generation of this game. I haven't played through gold or silver, but I haven't played through heart gold in forever. So, one, I thought it'd be a good game to play through, and since I'm playing through it, why not do a Nuzlocke? It's an old game. That's what you do with Nuzlocke, right? So anyways, that's what I'm planning on doing for this game. A Nuzlocke. Main, main rules apply as you catch the first Pokemon you get on each route, and um, then you, you know, you nickname the Pokemon, uh, you get, and then if it dies, it goes in the PC. For me, you could release it if you want to, but I just like to keep it in the PC for, like, reminders for, I have a feeling a lot of them are gonna die, so just for, like, clips' sake. for like a montage of death I'm assuming later on is gonna happen anyways as we get into this uh, my plan for this is to nuzlocke as far as we can to beating red that's my end goal if possible this region is very big so I think we'll have plenty of room to get a team going uh, yeah, also, I'm not sure about, uh, reading all this text out like I am in Pokemon Moon. I am gonna do it in Moon just because that's, like, new, but this is, like, if you've seen this, you can read along also, um, I'll read, like, important parts. This so far is just a tutorial. You, we've basically already hold this, heard this stuff in Pokemon Moon, so... Anyways, um, for our starter, I'm gonna go with Cyndaquil for major reasons of Chikorita not being that good and not having much, like, coverage overall, being grass and normal, mainly, um, along with it being weak to the first gym. And then, for Totodile, I would choose Totodile if there was not a free shiny Gyarados. That, in Nuzlocke's sake, is amazing. Because it's just a beefed up Feraligator. Gets everything it Feraligator gets. Plus more. Plus, uh... It's bulkier and stronger and faster. One thing it doesn't get, I guess, is Aqua Jet. But, you know, you're bulky. You can take a hit and you're faster. Anyway, so yeah, unless, unless there's a shiny in the mix, which I will look for, uh, we're gonna choose Cyndaquil. And I've named it the past two times I've done this recording. We're gonna name it, uh, well, you'll see. Yeah, we're gonna, yep, we're going over to Mr. Pokemon and figuring out his deal with another egg. Alright, so, no shinies, but we're gonna go with Cyndaquil. Hopefully sometime soon, if I get a better setup for recording this. I can do like shiny hunts on a live stream. Yeah, I know everyone that plays Pokemon for like YouTube has probably done this, but I want to. Sounds fun. Also, I've started hunting in uh, Pokemon 
sun, and I've gotten, like, five shinies so far, so... I feel it'd be nice to do. Anyways, yeah, we get to walk with Pokemon in here too, which is probably one of my favorite features. Yeah, I can heal it at your healing machine that's not potions, which is what I thought it was at first. So we're gonna go over, head over to Cherry Grove, and this guy's gonna give us potions. This is where we get potions. Thank you for the potions. Those are actually useful. Yeah, I know Pokemon are so weak. Like, this Cyndaquil is probably stronger than me, though. But it has the privilege of healing up by spraying some mist on it. So you picked a Cyndaquil? That's a cute Pokemon you have. Yeah. Alright. What I'm hoping, though, for Route 1 is either I can get a Flying type or a uh, Pickup. Because for Nuzlocke, I think that's going to be pretty handy. Also, um, in terms of items, I don't know how we'll go for now. Uh, but when a Pokemon dies and it's holding an item, I think we're just gonna have it die with its item. If it's something very important, we'll consider doing a sacrifice. Yes, I know how to call someone. You don't have to tell me after I told you I know how to call someone. Yes, I know. Anyways, let's go ahead to options, and we're going to do it on set, and then a nice light blue border. Anyways, off to Cherry Grove Town, or city, whatever. And boop, there. Wait a sec. You're gonna... What do you give me again? Oh, yeah, he's gonna give me his number. Would've been nice if he gave me shoes. Because can't quite run in these whatever shoes that are exactly the same are. Okay, good for you. And there's battle. Also, good thing for this being an old game, it's not gonna lag because I'm not on, like, because due to it being a newer system, older game, it's gonna be good. Also, I hope the lighting is better than in both of those Pokemon Moon videos if you watch those. I apologize for that. Um, I completely forgot about how I recorded, um, Usually I record in, like, in the dark, as dark as I can on minimum volume on this thing, and then it doesn't glare too much when you, when it goes full black. Anyways, yeah. This is going to be a good place to train at the beginning, but for now, I'm uh, going to hope to avoid as many Pokemon as possible. I will take out Pokemon until I start getting low on health. Also, I know there's an item up ahead. I, okay. Okay. That's not nice. Now it can hit me with normal type moves. And fighting type moves that it totally couldn't have before. Crit, please. No, you're gonna make me use like six tackles to take a to take out an owl. This thing has to be like a plus to. Oh, of course I miss. That's just how Pokemon likes it. 
Yeah, I need to use two more tackles to kill an owl. Oh, and I'm female this time. Okay, that's nice. I think I was male both times before. Now I can use attract effectively, slash not get attracted by milk. Uh, by Whitney's mill tank. It's gonna one shot roll out me, but whatever. I get an immunity to attract for about half the gym leaders. Anyways, let's go ahead over here. I don't think he battles me, so I'm not gonna bother. I will bother going all the way around this patch of grass, though. Uh, 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 okay. Well, it's just a potion. Also, I can't get Pokeballs until, like, I get my Pokedex. Uh... Of course, the first battle, or of course, the first step in the grass is a battle. I think everything here is just Hoot Hoots. I don't think anything else spawns here. I have never seen anything besides a Hoot Hoot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is just Hoot Hoots. So I think we're guaranteed a Hoot Hoot. It's not bad. Gets extra sensory. It can fly. can make it an HM slave, because sadly we need like one, one or two. Gyarados can hold Surf and, and or Waterfall. Of, of course I missed. It's just a guaranteed. There we go, thank you though, a crit. That makes up for it. Level six. And I learned smoke screen. No, no, no. Oh, and we still have more grass after this. I'm not low enough to be running from this. Th but why are they so bulky? Also, when am I gonna learn Ember? Because that'd be something very helpful. I have a feeling if I'd chosen any other starter, it would have given me, like, a useful move immediately. Instead of smokescreen. Like, yeah, it'll be useful, but... Not quite as useful as an attacking move right now. I'll probably keep smokescreen for quite a while. If I get sand attack, I'll replace it. But, like, smokescreen is a great thing for gym battles, especially Whitney. I have a feeling that's going to be helpful. I don't think these people that I'm passing talk or do anything helpful, so I'm just avoiding them. There's an apricorn that I can't get anything from. Here we go, end of the route. Yeah, and this guy just talks to me about town. So you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. Yep, here's more tutorial. Yay! Follow him. Oh, wait, I don't have shoes, so he'll try and go slow. I like how you have to wear specifically running shoes to run. If you're wearing jogging shoes, no. If you're wearing, uh fast walking shoes? Nope. Have to be running. Or else you're not allowed to run. Route 30 is up there. People battle me. And then I get to see the sea. Wonder if the sea sees sea. Yep. And then he's gonna show me to his house. And... This is where we get the running shoes. It would have been great if he actually gave me his running shoes and then he went slow for once. 
Yep. So just for the sake of how I'm recording, I'll just... Actually, okay, what? Okay, a map. Nice. Alright, thanks. Uh, what we need to do is probably heal up at the Pokemon Center, because I'm running out of tackles against those Hoot Hoots. Yes. Alright. Also, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this recording doesn't mess up. Because if it does, so far so good. What I think we're going to be able to do is make it to the Pokemon house. Maybe? There's an item. Oh my god, it's another Hoot Hoot. I'm going to run from this one. I'm sick of seeing Hoot Hoots. Yeah. They're good for training, but... Maybe I want to have something else to train with. Do you battle me? Nope. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, um, this isn't the Pokemon house, or Mr. Pokemon's house, but he gives me the Apricorn, or Apricot, Apricorn, I think, yeah. He, um, gives me the thing to hold them, so I can, uh, collect all those while I'm running around. Yep. Thanks. There's one right outside your house, and I'll get the other one on the way back. That's a weird sound. I love how there's not enough characters, just, like, because they don't have character. It's just a limit before. Same with, like, your name and nicknames. That was amazing. I made through that grass without fighting a Pokemon. That time, too? Dang. Oh! These skill- Oh, these skills! Oh! Those skills. Was this a punk? Yep. This is Mr. Pokemon's house. Yep, I'm my toad. The mystery egg? Am I gonna get to walk around with this? Is he gonna... Is Professor Elm gonna let me, uh, hatch this? Because I would love that. Okay, thanks. I didn't fight anything, though. And there's Professor Oak. Yep. We know. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm running an errand. Uh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Cyndaquil? Kinda? I guess? Yep, I'm helping Professor Elm. Uh... Yes. Yes, I... I guess I'll... No, I'm gonna hurt my Pokemon and not care for it at all. That's why I'm letting it walk around behind me. <sighs> oh, yes! Thank you! Pokedex! There we go! Can we get Pokeballs now? Or do I have to wait for... Um, more things. 
Oh yeah, all the numbers in my phone are old men and my mom's. Uh, but yeah. Okay. It's a disaster. It's terrible. Alright. Well, even though it's a disaster, we're gonna wait for that to the next episode. Um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.